Hello world, Cal back again with another Minecraft episode. Um, last episode, if you guys remember, we did some redstone, did a lot of mining, got some diamond, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying. Um, in between episodes, I went ahead and added this little upper area um, that I'm going to have running throughout the whole mountain. So this will be slowly expanded on eventually. Um, I also replaced the wooden doors with, with iron doors just to, you know, just to flex on them a little bit. Um, and you can see in my inventory, I have a bunch of uh, dirt, a lot of supplies. Um, and that's because we're going to be actually building a tree farm. First things first. So we have like a little ghetto one going on over here uh, for me just randomly placing saplings. But I want to make an official one and I already marked out an area I would like it to be at. I'm going to have to flatten the land a little bit and fill in the spaces with dirt, which is why I have all those dirt blocks. But I'm hoping I have enough dirt. If not, we'll have to, you know, do some mining. Um, and I know we have that mountain over there. I didn't forget about that mountain either. We're definitely going to build there at some point. But today, I figured we go ahead and start off and go ahead and flatten out this land. So I think... Yeah, we want it to this level. So all of this has got to change. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on that. Creeping on a creeper, creeping on a creeper. Come on, come on. Falling from this cobblestone building has depleted my health and my food supply. Um, whenever sneaking comes back, I'm going to kiss it because sneaking is an underrated feature. Oh my God, it is so annoying to build without it. Oh, what a nice pig. Having a nice day, are you? Well, I need food. Thank you. Your sacrifice will not go in vain. Um, I really need to make a wheat farm, too, now that I think about it. I, I haven't really had to make one. So I should probably get on that, too. Oh, there's another pig. All right. Did it just de- Did it just despawn on me? That's how you feel, pig? You saw your buddy get killed over there, and you said, Nah, I don't want none of that smoke. Okay. Okay, buddy. Don't worry, I'll find your brothers and sisters. Don't worry about it. Holy sheep. You guys see what I did there? So yeah, we're gonna head this way roughly and kind of see what we're over there. So we came from this direction when we first entered this area to the Alpha Lands. So we're gonna keep going this way so we can explore some new land. Maybe run across something cool. Really? You didn't give me any food? Come on. There's another one. Come here. My God, this lag. Oh my God. What? Two in a row that didn't drop anything? They trying me today. Ooh, look, gravel, uh, a little patch of gravel. 
I've always been paranoid about these because uh, I don't know if you guys remember that 404 world where if you where you hit one block and the whole thing would fall into a cave. So I've always been paranoid about digging those. Okay. Well, I see some sand. That's a good sign. Oh, and we got a beach. We got a beach. Well, we didn't have to go far at all. Okay, we're going to need a lot of sand. Like probably four, maybe four stacks of it. Wait, why didn't I craft any shovels before I came out here? Oh, I think I see another cave up here. Ooh. Oh, it just connects up to the other side. There's probably another cave connected up here. Um, what some people have been telling me is that in these days, you know, some caves, they don't spawn connected, so you might have to dig through some cobblestone at the end of the cave uh, to expose some more of it. So that's what I'm going to start doing anytime we go caving. Oh, I did add another goal I want to get done in alpha. Um, I want to find monoliths. If you guys don't know what, what those are, um, it's basically some glitch terrain that can spawn um, in these versions. Um, it's a really cool looking structure. I'll put a picture on it uh, in the video right about now. Um, but yeah, I want to try to find it. Um, and by find it, I mean I'm just going to use a monolith finder and, and find the cords and, and walk to it. Um, they're extremely rare, so I, I would spend, you know, hours upon hours looking for it. And I don't feel like doing that. So we're going to use a monolith finder, find the exact coordinates, and just walk over there. Um, just to have it loaded into our world. I'm not really going to do anything with it, probably. You know, maybe I could do a build in it or something. And I also want to do a museum that contains all the blocks in the game um, that we can obtain, you know. Um, I actually got that idea off a post on Reddit. There was a guy there. I, I can't remember who posted it, but... I remember a while ago, like a couple years ago, I mean, there was a guy there who posted that he like made a museum containing all the blocks and all the mobs in the game. Um, so I want to do something like that. Obviously, I can't collect mobs yet, passive or uh, hostile mobs because they don't stay spawned in. But I should be able to get most of the blocks in there. The only ones I won't be able to get right now is the diamond ore block and maybe a couple others. All right. Now that I got all my uh, glass in hand, it's time to get back work and finish up the tree farm. Now the roof is gonna be all glass blocks. We made it uh, eight tall or seven blocks from the sapling. Uh, the reason why is to avoid having big trees like that one spawn, which take forever to mine through and stuff like that. We just want it to be very, uh, very small, simple trees that are easy to mine down. So we put this glass up here so it can still grow while also, um, while also I'm limiting it from becoming the big trees and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably gonna fall a million times doing this just like before, so. All right, you guys, uh, we laid the groundwork for the tree farm. Um, as you can see, we made the ceiling out of glass just so we can let the sunlight in during the day. And then we have torches underneath these glasses here uh, so light can be transmitted during the night and stuff so these grow. Um, I think this is the most space efficient way of doing it uh, currently. We don't have bone meal or anything to force the growth so I think this is kind of the best way to do it. Um, unfortunately though I ran out of material. I think I'm running low on coal so I can't make any more torches. So I figure now is as good as time as any to uh, dig into our house a little bit more into the mountain to try to make more space. Oh yeah, guys, that reminds me. Uh, there was a glitch back in these days um, called click mining. So basically it was faster to click your mouse button for every block you break instead of just holding it down. So uh, I'll show you the speed difference right now. So this is me holding it down.
right? And then this is me clicking it for each block. I don't know how noticeable it is on video, but it is definitely uh, faster than uh, holding it. So guys, while walking around um, collecting some sand, I actually found some clay, and this is pretty cool. Uh, if you guys don't know clay back in these versions, uh, they spawned extremely rare. Like I think they were basically as rare as diamonds were. So uh, finding some was a pretty impressive, pretty impressive uh, find. So we're gonna go ahead and collect all of these, and we'll have access to brick now. So that would be sweet for us. So guys, I finished up the tree farm. Um, I planted some trees on the top of the roof. I kind of like how it looks, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Um, and let's go ahead and take a little closer look at it. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out though. Um, the way I did it, I with the saplings, I just made a one block space in between each sapling. So every other block will be a sapling that's placed down. Um, I don't know how efficient this, this is because I know it might stop it from growing. Um, but I can't actually remember how trees work, especially in these versions. So if there's somebody that's more experienced or, you know, knows a little better, you know, help a brother out, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, but it's doing enough for me. I mean, most of the trees are growing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it how it is. And this gives us plenty of uh, plenty of wood from it. And right behind it, we're starting on a little minecart rail. Um, I realized during the construction of this tree farm... I built the tree farm kind of far from the house. I mean, far for these days, since I don't have sprinting or the Electra or anything. Um, so I figured I might as well build this little minecart rail and we'll go ahead and uh, build it back to my main, uh, my main base in the mountain over there. And so next episode, um, we'll go ahead and mess with the minecart mechanics. Um, they're very, very different from how it is in current day Minecraft because obviously you don't have power rails or anything like that. So I'll show you guys kind of how, you know, Minecraft players had to navigate around that during these days using a pretty famous bug that used to exist. And then we still have our sugarcane and wheat farm to do. Um, but beyond that, I will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you guys for supporting the channel.